Hey, what's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how we can link a light cell instance to Cloudflare. This video is gonna be pretty quick. Uh, there's just a couple prerequisites that you're gonna to need to follow along with this video exactly. And one of those is a light cell account with a light cell instance. Secondly is a Cloudflare account. And thirdly, if you wanna follow along exactly, uh, just a Ventra IP account with a domain. Uh, you can use any domain provider, uh, it'll just be a slightly different uh, interface to add the configuration items that you need. So anyways, let's get stuck into it. All right, so first off, we wanna go to our Cloudflare dashboard and we're gonna go ahead and just add a site. So just go there, add site, and then type in your domain name for your site. So mine is .au. I'll add the site. And there's a couple questions here just to click through. So we'll do the free option, continue. It's gonna scan our DNS for existing records, uh, which is fine. And I'll just say continue for this for now. All right, so now from here, we wanna to go to DNS on the left. And what you wanna do is get these name server records that Cloudflare has provided us. So just copy both of these and put them into a text box or something. And then you wanna to go to your domain provider. And for me, this is ventureip.com.au and you can go here, custom name servers, and edit that, and then just paste in those name server records. Now, if you're using something like GoDaddy or HostGator or something, uh, the interface is gonna look a little bit different, but essentially all you need to do is make sure that you can edit your name servers to include both these items right here. Okay, so now let's go back to LightSail, and we're gonna create a static IP so we can reference that in Cloudflare. So go to networking, and create a static IP if you don't already have one. I've got one down here. I'll just do another one anyway. Select my instance I want to attach it to. I'm just gonna call this Cloudflare. And we can create that. Okay, sweet. So now I've got this static public IP. I can copy this and I'll go to Cloudflare now and we can edit our A name records to point to this IP address instead. So I'll do this for both ANM records, the www and the root one. Save that and that is literally all we need to do. So I'll just see if this works. It sometimes takes a little while for uh, the DNS to sort of propagate and our records to become available, but we'll try it out. Ah, well it's already working, cool. So now you can see it's being provided by Cloudflare. We have an SSL certificate, which is provided by Cloudflare. If I expand this, I think I should be able to see. Yep, yeah, cool, it comes from cloudflare.com or Cloudflare SSL. So that is literally it, guys. All right, I hope you guys learned something today. This was a really quick video, but I did have a couple of questions for it, so hopefully uh, this provides the answers that you need. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video and it found it helpful, consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thanks.